I've got this stepper motor here and I'm gonna wire it up for a test project, but I lost the wiring diagram, so I'm gonna show you two quick methods to figure out which wires go together. So your typical stepper motor just has two coils of windings and you know a four wire motor would look something like this where you've got one wire for each end of the coil but in this case we actually have a six wire motor and so what that tells us is that we actually have a center tap in the middle of each coil as well. So if we think about it this way we should have equal resistance on each, uh, each half of the coil and then the full coil should have the same resistance. The first method, I'm going to try turning the shaft and then I'm going to start connecting wires together and see if that makes any difference. So if I connect the yellow and green, that actually makes the shaft harder to turn. So I'm going to try connecting some other wires too and figure out which ones go with it. So I'm going to try black and yellow. That's also hard to turn and then you know, we would assume that black and green would also be hard. Okay. So if I connect the black and green, it actually feels like there's even more resistance than if I do like the black and yellow, for example. So my guess is that black and green are the ends of the coil and then the yellow is the center tap. So if we assume that, then we know that blue, red, and white also go together. So we're gonna start testing those. So blue and white, so there's definitely resistance, but it doesn't feel like as much resistance as if I connect the blue and the red. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more resistance there. So I'm gonna assume that blue and red are the ends of one of the coils, and that white is the center tap on that coil. And then on the other coil, black and green go together. Those are the ends of the coil, and yellow is the center tap. So for the second method, I'm gonna use a digital multimeter and set it to an ohm value. So I'm measuring resistance. And I'm just gonna confirm my previous uh, assumption that blue and red go together. So let's measure the resistance there. So we're getting 2.7 ohms, 2.6 ohms, somewhere in there. And then if I do blue and white, I get about half that. So going back to our diagram, that makes sense. So if this is white, or sorry, if this one's white, and then this is blue and red, that makes sense. You'd expect about twice as much resistance from blue to red as you would from white to either of those. So let's do the same thing again with uh, green and black. So we should be getting about the same thing, about 2.7 ohms. And then if we go black to yellow, we get about half that. So we're going to draw this all out. We can say one of these is black, one of these is green, and then one is yellow. And then on the other side, we've got blue, white for the center tap, and red. So then if I look at my stepper drive, I can see that there's the A and the B coils, and then we've got a plus and a minus value for each of those. Um, it doesn't really matter which which pair I hook up to A or B, um, as long as I keep those pairs together and they go with the same letter. Um, it doesn't matter if I've got the plus or the minus switched, that's just gonna change the direction. So I'm just gonna hook it up and see which way the motor turns and if it's opposite from what I want, all I have to do is switch two of the wires on one coil. Uh, so either I switch the black and the green or I switch the red and the, and the blue. Um, I don't want to cross coils though, that's not going to be any good. So if I go like blue and green, that wouldn't get me anywhere. So now that I've got the wiring figured out, I went ahead and hooked my stepper up to a Molex connector, which I can then plug into my stepper controls for the mill, which normally drives the Z axis on the mill. You can see the stepper motor right there. 
so that's normally hooked up to this cable but that just runs into this box here which is controlled by an Arduino and it has a 24 volt power supply and the stepper motor driver so when I push the button it looks like I got it wired up right So in a future video, I'll be showing you how to do the logic and programming and some of the wiring for an application like this. So stay tuned for that video.